Hey folks, this is Mark coming at you again. It's a beautiful afternoon up here in the hills of Panama, enjoying the sunshine, the breezes, and uh, I hope those of you up north are staying warm. But uh, today, just a short message. I wanna let you in on something. As you know, uh, we've got a lot of problems in this world affecting us in many ways. And uh, I'm a guy all about solutions. I don't like to talk about problems unless we've got a solution, a practical way to deal with it. And uh, today that relates to uh, finances and banking, right? Um, I put together an educational series of emails to help us understand what's going on with finance and banking. You know, there are so many problems, issues, and potential disasters laying ahead. We've got to be alert, we've got to be looking ahead and preparing ourselves with alternative means of handling our finances. All right, let's take a look at it just real quick. You understand very well that when you make a deposit to the bank, you become an unsecured creditor. Those are relatively new laws. Those funds are no longer yours. You're like the window washer at the bank building. Submit an invoice, you hope you get paid. If the bank doesn't have the money, then uh, you step in line with the other creditors. All right, so that's a given fact. We understand how bankrupt governments are and how aggressive they're getting and how creative they're getting at getting their hands on your money. We understand how unruly the courts are. The courts are basically rogue and you don't need to do anything wrong to be hauled into court with false charges, false accusations, whatever reason can be conjured up, if you're somebody who, who might look like you have some assets, you could very well end up in court for no reason at all. All right, and you know what happens when they get you in their clutches, all right? So add to that, we're looking at a very serious liquidity problem in the banking system, and you don't have to look very far if you do a simple search on the internet or in YouTube for bank collapse, banking liquidity problems, economic collapse, things are falling apart all around us, right? So what are you gonna do if all of a sudden the internet goes down, you can't get to your internet banking? Or if your local bank branch closes, as thousands are uh, around the world right now, you can't get to your bank and they shut down their ATMs. What do you do then? All right, then we get into the issue of taxation. And uh, especially if you're into the crypto space, capital gains issues on uh, cryptocurrencies uh, are horrendous for people who have been successful in that space. All right, so you've got a lot to think about in terms of developing alternate means to handle your finances, right? So what I've done is I put together uh, a series of educational emails to help you understand the pitfalls that we have to avoid and what some alternatives might look like to provide you with some solutions in this regard. All right, so I'm gonna invite you to uh, get on that email list, opt in. There's no cost to it, it's free, uh, it's educational, it's informative. I'm sharing with you um, years of knowledge and experience that I've acquired in dealing in the realms of international finance. And there are some very special and unique opportunities for uh, those who are in a position to take advantage of it, all right? so. That's all I want to do for you today is um, look for the link in the description below and uh, opt in, and I hope you can benefit from that. All right? Enough for now. Over and out. See you in the next video. Bye.